I'm at Pine Lake in Ashtabula, Ohio. Behind me, it's Tim Farr on the coolest Maverick X3 you'll ever see. which they don't have in this. This is Kim's short course car, which means they've lightened things up, made it more like a TT machine. There's some titanium stuff on it. There's some uh, really neat stuff. The front end's all dialed in where they can adjust everything. It's not your typical side-by-side. Uh, -side. one thing, going fast on a short course. So today is testing and tuning day. What they're doing today is just dialing in the shots, trying new tire setups. Ride height perfect. You really don't get that kind of testing with a short course machine. Usually you show up at a race and you know you got a heat race and a main and there's no real great place to go test. But since Tim grew up here in County of Ohio, good friends with Bud Fisher and the whole facility, they've got Pine Lake to their disposal here. That's Bud Fisher. <laughs> remember, remember the three wheelers were here once? Here we are, 2017, and it's side by sides, and it's, but it's still Tim Farr. <laughs> he was raising a three wheeler. He grew up in your your property, and here we are. And uh, we're today we're testing uh, stuff. Did you ever see the think the side by sides would take over like they have lately? Did you see it coming? No, not as big as it's gotten. No. It's pretty valuable to be able to come to the old stomping grounds in Pine Lake and test like you are today. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Especially living in Florida now, you gotta feel like, man, this is home. It is home. It's nice to come and, here. And fans yep. came out of the <laughs> yeah. woodwork. You see them all on the fence? It's yep. like, yeah, it's it gotta cool. be cool for you because um, they know who you are. You're Very like, cool. you're like a hero around here. You're going after that torque series, huh? That's that's the one you want more than GNCC, isn't it? Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, it's more like kind of racing, so. I like GNCC, it's an awesome series, it's a lot of fun, but uh, the short course is pretty cool. Yeah, you've always excelled at TT, even though you're really good at motocross. Um, something about TT and you, just to, I can tell this is your forte right here. Jody, Tim says you're the one that's got to give us the walk through the car. Walk through the car? He doesn't know anything about it, he just turns the wheel on. He's got a gas he pedal, pedal, on, pedal, He and pushes a on the wheel. gas pedal and that's it. <laughs> yeah. But um, what do you want to know? I uh, will just get a walk through here and show us the insides of the car here. Now's a good time as any, mate. Might as well. Yeah. All Go right, so we've got uh, a 2017 Can Am X3 Maverick, yeah. the turbocharged, 154 horse. Holy right. cow. 72 inches wide, and you've made some serious changes to make this thing what I think is one of the coolest Mavericks X3s we'll see. We had to take the stock cage off. Okay. Had to make a new roll cage. We had to take all the side doors, stock doors off. We had to build all the get over there, all the tubes we had to weld in. That's all the specs for the torque series. Okay. Had to put the window net in the driver's side, which is here. Okay. Gotta have that. Of course, we gotta have a full containment seat. Okay. Uh, I don't even need the passenger seat. No passenger not seat. Not GNCC. They nope. don't, nobody races in the passenger. No nope. passenger. Yeah, you ain't allowed the passenger. Okay. Got the um, five point harness. Got to have that fire extinguisher just mounted over there. Got to have the dead man switch in case you have electric buttons to kill all the electrics and shut the car off. Steering quickener, removable steering wheel. Yep. Got to have this. This is a you know approved piece of. It's not foam. It's a real high density, I guess, foam. What you call it? But that's above his head. Uh, I it, see. You oh, neat. Right side and you get impacted. Uh, neat. Okay. So then uh, the roll cage has to have these back down to the rear bumper okay for a rollover and we're using that hmf bumper stuff. yeah mounted to the front rear here. bumper okay made our roll cage adapt to it okay uh we built the bottom bumper we were having a lot of people hitting our radius rods and whatnot and bending them so we built that to protect oh, the back of our car i see what you're doing here you've got uh um to protection on knee Oh, you well, don't see that up there Well, the first race, we built several of them rods. People kept running into it. I so like it. We had necessity to be built that. 
You saw that, didn't you? Yeah, well, I had to. That's good. Very I got cool. tired of changing them rods. Yeah, <laughs> that's a DNF too, so why not? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like where you're going. So, HMS exhaust. They built up the special you exhaust. You the side, okay. Comes out the side, you the middle. Lighter, smaller. Oh, that's a handmade, just a yeah. special one. Yeah, built a special exhaust for this turbo car. But HMS makes some good stuff. Yeah, you got a remote oil filter. Uh, hooked to an oil cooler. Why is that? What was wrong with the stuff? Uh, just with the extra tune we got, that thing was running hot, so we had to add some more cooling. We put this bigger radiator. We built that, bought the radiator out of a race car, and we custom fit it in here. Sweet. Got all the right fittings. Uh, we got no cooling issues now. We can get, get more power now. While we're back here, have you anything different with the air intake? What's stock? Air Not intake stock air stock. filter, stock air intake. It's getting enough mass yeah. of air through there? Okay. Nice. Yep. So, Which is good, because you ever get a wet race or something, you've got the air yeah. box, you're not... Uh, yeah, we're not wide open. I like it. Yeah, make a narrow car too, a 64-inch car, which is what this one was. So Okay. So if you notice our back, we got offset wheels. I see. So this didn't take birth as a 72, it, take, it was a, a 64. 64. Yeah. I, I see where you're going. So now you can go anywhere you want. Yeah, we way. can't go over 74 or 72 inches, so we did the, the wheels in the back. So we got the air to the front. Yeah. So we, we got a lot of options. Nice. What else? You got another HMF front end? Yeah. Different axles. Of course, to, to work with the A arms. So the, somebody handmade those axles? Yeah, they're custom made. Summers Brothers built them out of California mm -hmm. for us. Are those stock uh, spindles and everything yeah, up there? Spindles, hubs, brakes, all that stuff's all stock. Why well, I messed with tie rod ends stuff. stock. I built brakes. the tie rods and we'll have your stock ones are aluminum. Okay. But the ends and all that stock. Steering rack, differential, all stock too. Boy, and then the screen, that's for roosting rocks and stuff? Yeah, we get some big rocks thrown in them. Yeah, why, why take a rock? Yeah, well, you have to have it. That's part okay. of the rules. Are other competitors running stock engines in these X3s? I think X, a lot of guys in X3s are just messing with the tuners. Yeah, you can get so much horse there. It's and it's short. reliable. Right on. Uh, 154 horse. I couldn't believe it stock, when they yeah. told me that. I was like, no way. I can't get that much power out of it. And they are. Yeah. You, you know, you put it on a dyno. Yeah, we've been running on a dyno for days. And yeah, we're playing with clutches. So it, are you over 154? Not at the rear wheels. Okay. So their we, claim number is uh, at the engine. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're, you're sense, right around 140 at the rear wheels. I got gotcha. you. We talked to several people today about making the 804 run as good as it does. Uh, right now, Tim and George are back there measuring wheel, measuring widths and everything. George, what do we got going here with these shocks? These uh, are uh, not stock, I take it. <laughs> Well, they, they're OEM shocks. Uh, That's something that a lot of people might not realize. You yeah, they're stock stuff and making the stock stuff better. They're just shocks that solve for the 64 inch car okay. um, that we revalve and respawn. So the, the stock Maverick X3 comes with 24 inches of wheel travel. You're nowhere near that today, right? Uh, this thing is probably 12 inches of wheel travel, right? Uh, I can't really tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're, we're gonna, trying to get some secrets for you guys, but it's not working out. This is almost like the old Keith Little TT days when you guys were tinker with titanium stuff and making it really like you. Of all people, <laughs> I remember you had yeah, some really yeah. cool stuff back then on the TT end of things, and I know you're smiling because this is kind of like that those days we, again right i mean this is a tt machine right it pretty much is uh torque's very similar to tt racing and, uh, uh, not really close. okay so but that's the challenging part to the suspension is uh the cars need to be low and and not get a lot of body roll or anything like that they got to stay flat but mm -hmm. As low as they are and as minimal travel as we're running, they still got to be able to absorb some pretty big impacts. Right on. Because um, there's places that they're flying well over 150 foot. It's kind of cool that the shock guy is working with the front end guy right as I speak here. Jody, this is a AR system that you created just out of the blue. How did you come up with these specs? Uh, we got rules for the width, so okay. that's what we were working with. But it looks like a quad setup oh, yeah, similar to similar. what you make with your quad which is oh, yeah. kind of neat and we made them adjustable so we can adjust things the original can't adjust nothing so this year has been a real big learning experience for uh, for me personally it is cool it's like we're back in 1986 or something again and yeah. we're, we're dialing in stock uh suzuki quad racers 
putting sway bars on them and figuring stuff out. It's the same thing yep. as the old yeah. 80s, 1980s, which we were a part of. Pretty yeah. cool. Speaking of sway bars, I, I'm going to get a shameless plug in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were looking. This is a, you, you don't just make sway bars for wax easy. Yeah, well, I, well, and I also made one for the razor. Uh, my razor bar oh, is yeah, actually right. sold through Z Brothers. Okay. Um, but the Yamaha bar mm -hmm. is, is mine. And then this is our prototype. Uh, we have one on this car and one on Hunter Miller's car. Um, and we've been trying to test to find out what is that rate we want to use and different things because I make all my own bars. They are the best sway bar I've ever seen. It's just sharp. They work. I mean, you can tell you're not messing around. It's overbuilt. What you've done with your shocks and to get to work with some of the same people that we've grown up with. I mean, no, it's crazy. You and Keith and, then, and Keith, your big competitor was Tim at these quad races. You parked next to him probably and you kind of probably traded secrets over the years and here you are working with him it's really neat no it is it is pretty nuts uh, you know I mean I've known Tim for a long time yep. and to I don't know I feel pretty blessed to yeah. be able to work with somebody like Keith for that while and then do a lot of testing with Marty Hart and uh, still you know work with Marty every once in a while yeah, I mean he's a little bit and now with Tim I mean I don't know if you could pick three Marty Keith and Tim to know more of what's going on with the machine than yep. those three. No, you can't. I mean, the, the, the other thing, Marty has been, of course, truck racing, mm -hmm. so picking his brain and, and just hearing him talk, just soaking in what he tells. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can pick up things to do, and, um, you know, it's, it's a learning process. You can always learn from everybody, but there's not very many better people than those three to learn That's from. That's cool. What a cool place you've got in this industry. Next, I want to talk to Maxis, and STM is here doing some clutch work. So we've got tires, shocks, clutches. JD's here tinkering on everything, not just the suspension. All Maxis? No? Yes. These are Maxis? Everything. Sure. Everything's Maxis. Sure. Tim, you like Maxis tires, I guess. Look at this. Tires are the best. <laughs> so, what's your name and what are we doing here today? I'm Aaron with Maxis Tires. Um, just coming out here with Tim was going to test today. Mm -hmm. um, we had some different models that we wanted to try out. Theris is the one that everybody's using right now. We're trying a couple of different uh, options that we have available just to see if it keeps up with the Zeros, if it's faster, okay. just to see where we're at. As this, uh, the short course part of this sport kind of evolves, then we can look at making a new tire but uh yeah for now the Ceros is the tire everybody's right. running it everybody up front's running it everybody's winning on it so we know that that works we want to see if these other tires work today we'll see where they're at and the sport is evolving fast this short track yeah. is picking up man it's cool it's we didn't see it coming i know, you know I, nobody saw it coming on the east coast you got 100 guys showing up west coast you're yeah. getting up there too 60 70 guys showing up so yeah it's uh it's really growing fast and uh Maxis is a racing company. We want to stay on top of it and stay ahead of the competition is the, the name of the game here. Okay, Maxis, man, like you're saying, they make tires for everything. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Bicycles to I heard tobacco. Those RC cars. Everything. Make I use RC cars. Yeah, so, we have it all. That's cool. <laughs> so it makes sense that you're here early and not uh, developing new stuff. What's some of the secrets that are working for the series? I know that are they grooving those tires to get them even better or just the way they come? Yeah, we'll do some uh, some forward bike grooves in the rear for some traction and then some steering grooves in the front to uh, help the cars turn in a little bit but other than that it's just off the shelf put it on your car and go and that's what tim is running the uh 26 inch yes 26 set up 26 9 14 is the tire that's what everybody wants and everybody's running anybody that's winning that's the tire that they're on right now watching tim with this machine and stuff does it a set of tires gone in one race or what how long does these tires last is he with putting this, a new set on every race probably you don't really need to with the Ceros. There, uh, I'm seeing guys that are running up front and winning races at the, the national level that keep the same tires on for four or five races, okay. four or five race weekends. You have nice. two races per weekend, and they're keeping yeah. them on for half the season and still winning awesome. races. Because these things chew up oh, tires, yeah. so that's yeah. pretty so they're, they like impressive. Them. You know, they don't want to change them out. They're winning. They don't yeah. want to change their combo, so they are working as they wear. Yeah, the horsepower this thing puts down. Oh it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. You think <laughs> the tires crazy. would be gone in one one right. uh, race? Right. That's impressive. All right, well, man, thanks for talking to us. Hey, no problem, man. I'm Darren from STM Power Sports. Okay. Uh, we're setting up clutches. Um, On the coolest X3 I've seen. <laughs> right, uh, Tim's X3 for the uh, Torque Series. 
So this is the short track car. We're out here yep. dialing in this machine to make sure the horsepower isn't lost. Yep, make sure we get good throttle response, more power transfer to the wheels, a strong belt grip. You don't want to blow a belt while you're out on the track. And we got Jody over here helping us put everything on. He's torqued everything down. That's a nice looking STM clutch system. And you've, uh, what kind of belt is Tim using with that? Is that factory belts? Fact, is that the key? Factory belts work the best. They hold up the longest. Um, they have the best belt pinch due to the softer compound. Okay. It's a really good belt. A lot of people don't realize how much horsepower can be gained by a good setup clutch system. No, um, you don't necessarily gain horsepower overall. You gain more horsepower transfer from your motor to your wheels. So all the mo all the horsepower you lose in the belt drive, you can obtain by getting better belt pinch, different cam arm weights, different profiles, different spring rates to get you more power transfer and also better belt grip. Okay. So today we're tinkering with different weights or we already got that down? Uh, we're running with different this? weights, different um, helix and spring in the secondary, which controls how quick the shift is, get better the response for them an overall better setup for what he's doing with the machine. And all this is valuable in information for STM because they can sell a kit, I understand, yep. to a, a customer that gets all this done for them because of what you're doing today. Yeah, if we had a customer that was running a torque car, we'd have a really good setup based off this information for them for sure. What's a clutch system cost a, a person that's got a new X3 or any machine? What does it cost um, them and how do they go about getting it? and? Yeah, a clutch system for a machine like this would cost you about $2,100 plus shipping. Um, you can go on our website, stmpowersports.com, or give us a call. And that's when you get that unit, that's the, first, the primary, the secondary, all billet, built stuff, good, as you can see in this video here, we got some quality looking clutch system. I'm impressed. That uh, is put together by the guy, he gets it in the mail and he can run that, or just, you need an expert to come and do all this like you're doing. No, it's very simple actually. Um, everything is machined out of billet monoblock material, so everything is very durable. Everything's um, true balance because it's all built from again monoblock material. So no balancing necessary. Once you get the machine or get the clutches and bolt them to your machine, they are going to come pre-set up based off the information we're given. A lot of times uh, you do have to fine tune them because no two machines are the same. The throttle, the throttle response is different for each rider. Each um, the tires make a huge difference. The weight of the tire, the traction of the tire, and the type of riding that they're doing all make a huge difference. Why do, do belts break? Um, the typical reason that a belt would break would be heat. Heat is the belt's worst enemy. So getting optimal clamping force, again, is going to be the best thing you can get for a belt drive system. With all the stuff going on in this machine, isn't there uh, air going in and out of that clutch system, like a ventilation system? Yeah, there's a, an air system um, that draws in air, the air circulates in, and then it has an outlet um, mm -hmm. on it to let the air in and out. They are restrictive though. You, I mean, you know, you're taking air through a four inch tube and out a four inch tube, so you can only circulate so much air through there. Right, okay. But the key, like you said, the key is to go with the stock OEM equipment on the belt. Yep. And uh, if you want to clutch it last, you built, you go with the STM version. Yep. Yeah, the clutch will last a lot longer. Um, you, plus, again, you get the tunability out of it yeah. to tune for your type of riding and your needs. All right, I won't keep you anymore. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, no problem. The coolest Maverick X3 I think I've seen. It just looks sleek and white, like I'm saying. Look at that. 804 Tim Farr. The turbocharged Maverick X3, 154 horse uh, rocket ship. If you're interested in watching Tim race today, it was just a practice day. You got to see this guy race, man. It's a great series. A lot of good talent racing in it. But TorqueSeries.com is where you can see them, and uh, they even stream live video there too. If you can't make it, TorqueSeries.com.